Hi there. What are you doing? We're gonna have some coffee. All right? In a real cup. In a real freaking cup. I've been using my styrofoam cups for months. I'm gonna try to keep this light from going in and out, but we'll see how it goes. Good morning. How are you doing? I am, I am doing, I'm doing. Don't get mad at me. I'm gonna do some adjusting, all right? I decided I was going to make myself some coffee, and I figured I would just have some coffee with you since it's been so long. And, yeah, coffee time. I had a few things on my heart, and I figured I'd just go ahead and talk about them real quick. I'm going to try to hurry this video up because I have never uploaded a video out here, and I want to see how long it takes. So we'll see. I really don't like how this is placed, and it's going to bug me because I'm not close enough to see you. I guess that's a little better. Well, a lot of times when I don't make a video, it's because, I told you months and months ago, it's because I've got a war going on. So if I go to make a video, and I've got so much on my heart, uh, it ends up being a mess, and good luck trying to decipher me. So it's best for me just to stay quiet when I'm pushing through something. I'm sure you can relate to that. Maybe not. Maybe you're one of those people that just pops on a smile, makes you a video. I'm not that kind of a person. I smile when someone makes me smile. That's when I smile. I got that smile in here, you know, that joy every day, but, yeah. So what's on my heart is this. I want to talk to you, or at least I want to talk, about love between a man and a woman. I, I've been pushing through lately, continually praying, continually thinking, figuring this out, and I, I realize I have been, I have been, well, I've never went on the internet, freaking, the other day I, I did try out Facebook dating crap because they keep suggesting those one day I was just like screw it I'm gonna try it I was on there for maybe an hour and I was like oh my god no this is not happening so haven't haven't messed with it since totally not gonna do it I've always been against dating apps or anything like that just because of my age uh, anybody I've met in my past has always been just a just fate, you know, run into them here or there or through this person or that person. It's never been an internet thing for me, never has been. Anyways, I, I, I realize I, I am very lonely. I value my solitude every day of my life. I love being alone. I'm always alone. But I am definitely lonely for my I'm, I'm lonely for my best friend wherever he is 
I need my best friend. And I'm lonely. I always told God, you're my best friend. But lately, I've been kind of crying out to God, saying, I can't see your eyes, Father. I can't look into your eyes. I can't touch you. And I can't see you. And, you know, the woman was made for the man. And I, I feel that part of me missing really bad. I've always been a stay-at-home woman. And I like to be, you know, man goes out and work or does his work or whatever. I'm just there cooking, keeping the home, keeping the home fires burning, always happy at home. And I miss that. Well, so I put my feelers out. For probably the past, I don't know, many months now. And I even, I even made some sort of an attempt to, to, I, I just put myself out there. And I just, I got smacked in the face with some pretty bad rejection, actually. And, whatever, talking to God about it, crying, crying around to God about it. And my dad's words from 12 years ago keep coming back to me. He told me two things. One of which something my mother never would, never will tell me. He said, you can be anything you want. And the way he said it to me, how he said it to me, and the context with which he said it to me, and I'll never forget it. And the other thing he said to me was, set your standards higher, Catherine. He said, set your standards higher. Simple statement, right? My dad's a simple, righteous man. So, this past year, I did that. I, I, I found some people, and are a lot different than me. They're they're everything I've never been, probably never will be. Uh, sta really stable people. I mean, I'm I'm stable up here, thank God. But hard to explain. Really stable, steady people. And I I I I loved after someone in particular actually. And major rejection. All right, so so then I started thinking, you know, man, is this, is this manly out of my league? Then I started thinking about leagues and levels in life and different types of people and all that stuff. And Dad's words just keep coming back to me. Set your standards higher, Catherine. So I talked to God about it, and I say, okay, Father, these people, they, these people that are that are, they have their stuff together. They take care of what they need to take care of. They keep stable. They're good people. Those those men don't want anything to do with me. They don't want anything to do with me. My entire life, since I was a little girl, the men that want something to do with me are the men that prey on innocence and purity, predators, pedophiles, abusers, filthy men, lustful, lustful men and there's always been a particular type of man that is drawn to me of course you know I want an alpha if you don't know what that means sorry you don't maybe you should take to Google I guess I definitely want someone that is stronger than me and someone that can hold me down where I need to be held down someone I can learn from Someone that makes me better, don't we all? Well, so I'm at this point where I understand. I understand. Calling on God. Telling him I'm not worth anything. And why do you love me? If we can't earn if we can't earn God's love, if we cannot earn God's love, well he just loves us. He loves us like a you know. Wow, I could go pretty deep into this. 
I, I mean, I, I want God's love. I accept God's love. But I also want God's favor. I want him to specially love me. Don't we all? Don't we all? My point is this. I thought I would go out of my level, right? I've got the character there. God's been working with me for 11 years. I'm a faithful woman. I'm a trustworthy woman. I respect men. I know my place. And I love very deeply. But you also don't want to mess with me if, you, uh, if you're not a good person. You don't want to mess with me. I won't be your enemy in any other way through prayer. Because I take everything to God. It goes for men and women. But I think I, I think I'm, I think I'm down here. I think because of the things I've been exposed to since childhood and my whole life, the things I know, the things I've been through, whatever it is, I really don't care anymore. I just don't care anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not going to find someone who's got a home, some land. Pays their vehicle payments, pays their bills, drug free, uh, you know, doesn't have any major struggles when it comes to all that crap. I mean, not, no one is perfect. Everyone has issues. I said it a couple months ago, you got to find somebody who you're capable of fighting their demons. Deal with it. You were born to deal with it. You are meant for them. But I am not going to find somebody who's like that. So I guess the men that are interested in me are... Uh, just as messed up as I am, I guess. And I'm um, tough as I say I am or whatever it is. No, I do want a manly to save me. You know how? Come on, man, be stable. Show me stability. I moved around since I was 17 years old. I left home at 17. I, 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 men I've been with, I... They don't work right. I don't lead. They don't take care of stuff. I don't want to go into it, and I don't really care to. This is a very strange video, and I'm at a strange place in my life right now. But I just want to say, I'm totally giving up on the whole... I don't date. I've said that before, but I'm totally giving up on... Keep my freaking eyeballs open for that, mainly, that's going to come in and... Make the past nine years of my life and the evil I went through really, you know, not matter anymore. So I'll get through that crap, as I have been. Oh, man. What the hell kind of bug are you? Get on my coffee. Little freak. A fly. Jeez, well. Oh, shoot. Two of them. Long story short, here we go. I was... Majorly rejected. Majorly rejected. Cried for days. Cried all night. I don't have any pride anymore, so it didn't hurt my pride. It just... Well, all it did was make me realize I'm not... It don't. Please don't comment saying all this crap about how I'm good enough and I'm worthy and all this other... Please don't do that to me. Please don't do that to me. Please don't. I know my worth when it comes to the character of God, but I'm talking about my life. You know what I have? You know what I own? And there's a story behind this camper even, alright? I'm not going to go into that. This is all I have right here. My freaking car broke down. Tried to buy land. My land will be available in two weeks. Uh, my entire family came against me. Told me I can't do off-grid. I can't go down there away from the family. I need my family been fighting hell trying to do what I want to do my dream for 10 years I don't have anything right now I don't know have a job because my mother <laughs> here's what I told her I said you you are a cold woman you are the coldest woman ever you quit that you quit that you're fine 
He's not going to get you. Hey, you want to see what my little meowy problem is? Hold on. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, my big baby. Come here, my big baby. Ah, uh, this is my big baby. This is Yobi. My sons left their apartment um, a few days ago. And I got my Yobi. Y-O-B-E-E. -E, Yobi. Um, it took me over a month to get him when I lived in my apartment. It took me over a month to get him in the door. He'd never been inside before. And he was very scared. And I've had him for, we've had him for about a year. My sons took him over when I left the apartment. And <clears throat> so... We had to bring all the cats out into the country, and Mimi's down the road at my brother's, and uh, I was scared he'd run off. He went in the woods for a while, but anyways, Augustus is having just a terrible time with him. He's scared of him, and yesterday, Augustus, Augustus went after him, and he got hurt. There's no marks on him, no blood or anything, but he's he's hurting. I, I try to pick him up. I try to pick up my kitten, and he he's in pain, so... But they'll, they'll adjust to one another, and Yobi's coming here for his food, and I can't let him in the camper because he just scares Augustus too bad. Augustus is right there meowing. He's not happy. But this is my Yobi. So I got my two cats now. Uh, damn near killed me. Uh, one of the channels I watched, uh, uh, Jason Crocker put on the family chat a couple days ago. He's um, going to rehome his two dogs. Oh, my God. Those dogs, I'll just leave it as I want them very badly. And I have no way to get them. So I didn't even didn't even ask because I have no way. So but if I had my way I'd have those two dogs and my two cats. But uh this is a really long video and I'm so excited to see how many hours this is gonna take to upload out here. I've never uploaded out here, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, just don't comment on me and tell me I'm worth all this other shit. Please, please don't do that to me. I'm figuring a lot of stuff out in life right now, and, uh, I have the ability to understand a murderer, an abuser, an addict. Say what you want, I have the ability to understand and love and empathize with those people. I have the ability. But you know what? I want somebody stable in my life. That's what I want. And I just, that's just not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. I have nothing to offer. I All I have is my character. That is it. And unfortunately in this fake world we live in first question where do you work oh crap man i was on disability for 12 years because of my agoraphobia where i don't like to leave my home or my land oh crap i have extreme panic attacks in uh social situations so good luck trying to take me to a bunch of barbecues and stuff like that and go out to eat and go have fun because uh, i like to kind of just be at home where do you work i don't have a job Oh, what do you drive? Oh, crap. Well, I bought this uh, 2002 Ford Escort for a thousand bucks two months ago. Broke down. Oh, I don't have a vehicle. Yeah, see it? See it? So, whatever. I, it just it, it is it is a rant video because my heart my heart is broken to a million million pieces. I I I try to list my dad. Set my sights a little bit higher, which I didn't try to set my sights higher. I just, I just fell. I just fell. No, I don't like that. I don't like that word, but actually I hate that word. Uh, I just, I just felt. And it's just not going to happen, so. But I'm not going to keep my sights lower, so there's a dilemma there. I don't, I've never in my life been with a man that owned anything.
really ever wanted to do anything other than sit there and smoke weed, play video games. So, I change, you know. I change. Well, I never was that way. But I change what I want. And it's just... Wow. Yeah, that's where it's at. So... Yeah, the door that was open to me wanting to date is closed. It's closed. I will get my crap straightened out. Right now, I am trapped in my camper. I am not in my cabin anymore, and I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, no drama here, but I told you when you first started watching my channel, if you don't like change, better move along. I'm a demon magnet, just the way it is. If you're a spiritual Valkyrie, you'll get it. If not, you won't. Viking talk right there. If you get that, you will. Good God. That's the only thing I know about God. That's the only thing I know about him is he's good. And I also know he definitely answered my prayer. I prayed, uh, let's see here, last December. Slam every door you don't want me going through. Oh my God. Every door has been slamming in my face for, Jesus, almost a year now. But keep shutting him, Father. Because I know, I know when this is over, it'll be over, and I'll understand. Okay? I will understand. I don't even have the, the spray paint, I don't even have the money to buy the rest of my spray paint to finish my creation on my freaking camper. What's new? What is new? Alright, there's my video. Done. Decipher me. Done talking about it. Unfreaking subscribe if you find me weird because I don't give a crap anymore. I'm not going to be on there all fake smiley and going into live chats and freaking exclamation point, exclamation point. Oh my god, I love you all the pieces. Guess what? There's a lot of people I don't like, even on YouTube. And one thing, please, please, if you know what I'm talking about, just know it. Don't say anything. All right. Uh, and the circle that I'm in on YouTube, well, I'm not in it, but the circle I like to think I'm in. Uh, there's this nurse. Right? And a couple, I don't, I've never subscribed to her, I don't watch her videos, just, I have the right to not like whoever I want to like, not like. The other day, a, po a random video popped up on there. One, one of my subscribers came to my work. Oh my god. Oh my. I call bullshit. I call lie. Right? Well, if I was to go say something, which I wouldn't, because I, I do have respect for people. Here's why I'm not going to get along. And here's why no one likes me, right? I cannot watch that and not think you are lying. You are a liar of a woman. I call it didn't happen. And the only reason why I'm saying this right now is because it's been bothering me really bad. And all the fake people are like, oh my God, that never should have happened to you. When I know damn well that they know it's a lie. And I just can't stand it. There's my rant. Don't you, oh, don't you knock that over, Yobi. Don't you do it. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, my big boy. Come here. Don't you knock it over with your tail. Come here. How long is it going to take me to upload this video, huh? How many hours? Eight hours. Is it going to take me eight hours to upload this video? Is it going to take me eight hours? You don't bite me very hard, do you? But you do bite. Yellow cats might bite more than normal colors. <laughs> I think. Be my first yellow cat. I gotta go, buddy. Unsubscribe from me. I don't love you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. No, I really do love you. But, I don't like everyone. There's a lot of people I don't like. And God doesn't say I have to like everyone. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. I love you, I love you. Gotta go.